Hey everyone, GM Rex here, and this is Wrestle Talk Saturday, um, number four or five. I, I, I lost count. I'll remember it before I upload it, um, because I'll look it up. So I'm going to talk about this week's Cruiserweight Classic. Let's see. I got to think about the first match for a second. It was. Rich Swan versus what's his name? I can't think of his name. Oh, Jason Lee, that was it. Rich Swan beat Jason Lee. Um I've never really seen Rich Swan in the ring before, so it was interesting to see him. A um, little too much dancing, I think. I mean, I get, you know, you want to be charismatic and all that, but I think he, he did a little too much of it. Um, he was good in the ring, though, don't get me wrong. Um, especially that standing 450. Uh, that was amazing. He jumped up a couple of times and then like it the way he jumped it looked like the ring was a trampoline <laughs> it was amazing um and that was pretty cool and then uh Noam Dar beat Gerv Sierra by submission so both Sierra brothers lost by submission and they were representing India so I made a quick little joke about Looks like India is a bunch of quitters, but obviously I was joking, but that is kind of messed up to have them both lose by submission. Th that's just my personal opinion. And uh, I, I figured, you know, they would have put, um, I mean, you would have thought maybe at one point they would have gone up against each other, but they were eliminated in the first round, which is kind of weird. Um... I mean, maybe they'll be signed as a tag team. Because they are the Bollywood boys, so... It's possible. Um, well, there's a third match. I gotta think about that one for a second. Oh yeah, Jack Gallagher versus... Um, I can't remember his name. There's so many competitors in this thing, it's so hard to keep track of. Let me think about that for a second. I can't remember his name. Well, either way, Jack Gallagher won. Um, I seriously can't remember who it was. But Jack Gallagher won. Um, I can't believe I can't think of it. Oh, Fabian Eichner. How can I forget Fabian Eichner? Because he looked way too big to be in the Cruiserweight Classic. I mean, I'm pretty sure they'll sign him if he gains like 10 more pounds. And they'll probably start billing him as like a monster. Um, I seriously thought he was going to win. Because he was very impressive, I think. Yeah, actually he did. He did like a three-point moonsault. That was pretty cool. But yeah, Jack Gallagher won, um, I think by pinfall. Yeah, and then the main event was Johnny Gargano versus Tommaso Ciampa. Now, I really like them as a tag team. Um, and they fought each other in the first round of the Cruiserweight Classic. Um, I didn't care which one of them won, because I like both of them. I mean, I, I kind of like Ciampa a little more because... 
like I said, you know, he's New England based and I like New England based guys because, you know, they're relatively local. Um, but I like Jar Johnny Gargano too, so it, if either one of them won, I would have been happy. And Johnny Gargano won. Um, but I mean, Tommaso Ciampa really put a hurt on him and Johnny Gargano kept going. Um, you know, he persevered through all of it and got a roll up. And afterwards you thought, you know, Johnny Gargano, um, offered his hand to him. And Ciampa left, like, the ring. He left, he went in between the ropes and people were like, go back, go back. So he went back and then they kind of sat down and they shook hands and, you know, it was a good moment. Um, that's definitely what the Cruiserweight Classic is all about. It's just about the good sportsmanship and all that. You know, there's no real story to it. It's just a tournament. Um, at the moment, I mean, I don't know if more things are going to develop as it progresses. Um, a lot of favorites to win are... The two favorites to win, I guess, by WWE standard, are Zack Sabre Jr. and uh, Kota Ibushi. Um, I mean, it might actually go down to those two in the finals. I think. I think it's possible. Um, but yeah, TJ Perkins, that's another guy I'd like to win. Um, who else? I gotta think of this. TJ Perkins, Brian Kendrick, Tajiri, um... There were some other guys I liked going into going into it. Drew Gulak. I'm kind of hoping to see the poison mist from Tajiri at some point. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on with that. And uh, I haven't watched Raw or SmackDown since the draft, like I said. Too busy. Um... I'm hoping the WWE Network will add them shortly, and then I can start watching them from there. But Chris has been telling me that Roman Reigns has kind of been putting on more weight. Um, but I, I think Roman Reigns is essentially done for at this point. He really blew it. <laughs> so... We'll see what happens, though. Uh, SummerSlam's right around the corner, so is NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 2, which I'm pretty excited for, because Shinsuke Nakamura will face Samoa Joe for the NXT Championship. Obviously, I'm rooting for Shinsuke Nakamura. Um, hey, Grimace. What's up? Yeah, I got the Dusty Rhodes figure in the ring, WCW ring, out there. Uh, well, on my bed. What else? Bailey is going to face Asuka, I think, at Brooklyn, too. There may be a third contender added. Chris was saying that it might be Nia Jax, but she's already on the main roster. There's really no point for her to be um, added to the fray yet. Um, Asuka, they're kind of making her as a heel right now, which I don't really like. She works better as a face at the moment. A heel, it just doesn't work for her. Especially all the colorfulness and all the, you know, the mask and everything. And I mean, I get they want Bailey to be the face, but don't turn Asuka heel, just keep her as is. And then there's going to be a new uh, women's competitor coming at Brooklyn called Ember Moon. Um, it was a really weird, you know, there was some really weird v vignettes kind of hyping her. Um, it's supposedly Athena, the indie wrestler. Which I don't know if that gimmick would really work for her, but time will tell, right? Alright, so I'm going to wrap this up. So like this video, comment, share your thoughts. On various wrestling things. Um, ask questions. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see y'all later.